House passes bill allowing Americans to be implanted and tracked via microchips. Last week, the House of Representatives in the United States passed a bill which will allow for the microchipping of American citizens. This action will be allowed to take place without the consent of the person being implanted with the microchip. Ostensibly, this bill has put forward with compassionate health reasons in mind. The microchips will be implanted into older individuals with diseases such as dementia, Alzheimer's and Huntington's chorea who can often become very confused about their surroundings and can easily get lost if they wander away from a safe environment. The bill may also be used to empower physicians and carers to microchip severely autistic children who often exhibit wandering characteristics which could imperil their safety. However, despite the apparently benign nature of the bill, some people are already expressing their concern about where this could all lead. America recently underwent a mass microchipping panic owing to a rumor floating around about the long-term implications of the Affordable Care Act which some people claimed stipulated that all American citizens would have to be microchipped by a certain date. However, this rumor turned out to be baseless as there was nothing in the Affordable Care Act relating to microchipping in any capacity. Despite the fact that these rumors were groundless, the latent fear of mass microchipping in the United States is still apparent, and this new bill appears to have tapped into these fears. A Republican representative from the state of Texas said that the American people were primarily concerned that organizations that govern mechanisms such as these microchips often turn into sprawling bureaucracies. He said that by allowing this bill to open the door to involuntary microchipping could lead to the Department of Justice leapfrogging onto the bill to track recidivist criminals and this could lead to even greater breaches of civil liberties in the future. At this point, no one is in any doubt that this bill was passed with good intentions. However, it has been said that it may be wise to avoid using the implantation method of microchipping and instead attach a microchip to a piece of jewelry or clothing instead to ward off any future problems associated with the technology.